Welcome to Get the Facts, the show that gives you information on the latest topics. The Office of the Information Commissioner, OIC, commenced the registration of data controllers in several categories as of June 1st. Priorities being given to ministries, departments, and agencies within the government and other entities where data controllers have high risk when it comes to personal information. These include finance, health, education, tourism, and information and communication technology, ICT services. Speaking last month, the Minister with Responsibility for Information Skills and Digital Transformation, Senator Dr. Dana Morris Dixon, stressed that the Data Protection Act applied to all businesses, notwithstanding their size. With me to discuss some key factors under the Data Protection Act is Ms. Celia Barclay, Information Commissioner, and Mr. Ronald Fru. Information Systems Manager, both in the Office of the Information Commissioner. Welcome to you both. Thank Thanks you. for having us. Thank you. All right, let's jump right into getting the facts. Now, I know it's something that everybody should know about already, but just very briefly, tell us, what is the Data Protection Act? The Data Protection Act is a law that was passed in 2020 to ensure that person's personal data in the hands of third parties right. is properly protected. And so it provides for certain obligations on the parts of data controllers who process that information, mm -hmm. as well as for certain rights for data subjects to whom the information relates. Ah, I see. So I'd love to ask a little bit about that. Data controllers, once they have, once any data comes to them that can personally identify me, that qualifies them as a data controller. Yes. If you hold information that relates to other persons and you determine the way in which that information is processed and the purposes for which it is processed, right. and that information is information that can be used to identify the individual or based on which you would hold certain opinions or make decisions relating to the individual, then essentially what the law is saying is that you have a responsibility to ensure that you properly protect that information while it is under your possession and control. Ah, all right. Let's get some more facts. Now, stakeholders were given, last time we spoke, stakeholders were given six months to comply, you know, get uh, your data up to speed, get registered. What have you seen in terms of compliance? All right. So the six-month extension period was an extension from December 1, 2023, yes. when most of the sections of the Act came into force, including the provision that speaks to the requirement of data controllers to register with our office. Right. During that six months period, data controllers were allowed time to prepare for compliance with all their obligations under the Act, mm -hmm. of which registration with the Information Commissioner is just one. Right. So it is one of the main requirements for compliance, but it is not the only compliance. Understood. During that six months period, what we have seen is increased interest and activity towards compliance. So we know based on the communication we have received that persons have been taking steps to get ready and there has been a movement towards preparing for registration in the form of creating their data controller accounts on our website. Oh, I see. Mr. Fru, let's talk some numbers. Uh, what we're seeing in terms of accounts creation, calls coming in, I assume there are a lot. Right, so since Saturday, um, it has been crazy. So we're looking at numbers such as like as at today, 2000 100 controllers accounts have been created on the YC platform. Oh. 300, over 300 persons have already started um, submitting mm -hmm. or entering information, registration particulars in right. the form that is on the YC's platform. And over 33 persons have already submitted that as in they complete the entire process in terms of oh. entering the registration particulars, yeah. pay the fee and make submission of those completed registration form. So on that note, let's go through the registration process then for those who are you know, still lagging a little mm -hmm. behind. How do I register? All right, so first of all, persons need to know that there's only one way and one place to register as a data controller. Oh, no. It must be done on the website of the OIC. I can't which come is in? OIC.gov.jm. 
we are trying to move towards the digital economy right. that Jamaica wants to create. Yes. And so we aim to make this process as simple and easy as possible to have our business functions automated and to ensure that our records are kept in electronic form. And so for that reason, it is an online application that must be made. So data controllers wishing to register, visit the OIC's website, yeah. click on the My OIC portal, and on that portal, they will first be required to create an account. Right. Once that account is created and verified by the OIC through an email, mm -hmm. they can use the access credentials that are provided to enter back the portal and then have access to the registration form where they can input their registration particulars. Portal first, portal account first, then registration process. Yes. And it doesn't matter whether my data, the data I control is digital or not. I'm a data controller, I need to register online. Right. Got it, got it. Mr. Fru, I wanted to pull you into this one. Uh, costs. So for companies and public authorities, the right. registration fee for first time registrants, right. which are all the persons registering now, right. would be $25,000. Okay. For the sole trader, proprietor, practitioner, or any individual who would also qualify as a data controller under the act, mm -hmm. then it is $7,500. And then right. for all other controllers, which are labeled as partnerships, but may operate in some other business structure, the fee is $15,000. Oh, I see. I see. Yeah. All right. So I, I really want wanted to ask a technical question, uh, Mr. Fru, so let me do that again. Does, do I need a special program or device to use the form I register? Right, so I'm happy that you asked that question because it's something that we have to be, I've been dealing with it over the past couple of months, persons registering. Now, we understand at OIC that persons will employ the services of, say, for example, data protection practitioners mm. who might use programs or software to gather information on behalf of the data controller. Right. However, while that is beneficial to controllers and we understand the need to do that, in order for, for you to complete the registration process or to um, add information, registration particulars to the OIC form, you're still required to do it manual. No. Ah. So you have manual in terms of you entering that information into the form using the My OIC portal. Right. No, I just want persons to bear in mind that what the information that OIC require are general information at this point about your practices, your processing activities mm -hmm. that you need to enter in the form which is prescribed by law that can be found in Section 16. Ah. So even though they collect information, more information that is required, um, there will be no integration with any third-party application with the OIC platform. So in layman's parlance, we have to type it in. You have to, yeah, well, right, you have and, to. And, and just before we go to the break, just answer me this very quickly. So for those who have to gather this information and can't complete the form in one sitting, I can save what I've done before? Yes, so we thought about that and we give, we are giving persons the ability 30 days to complete the application form. Okay. So during that process, you have the ability to save what you're doing in draft mode right. and then complete the form Excellent. within 30 days. Excellent. We're gonna take a break now, but please don't go anywhere. Next, we'll hear what the office is doing to assist data controllers. Soon come back. If you have a business that handles the personal information of your customers, you are a data controller. How you treat that information is pertinent, not just for your company, but also your client. And the government is making sure that it bodes well for all parties involved. We're talking about data protection, but more so, is your organization registered under the relevant law? Lady Barclay, let's jump right back into it. Now, what guidance does the office provide you know, businesses in terms of compliance? I'm, I'm not sure where I fall. I'm not sure what applies to me. This whole thing feels so big. Can you help? All right, so first of all, we do have communication across various platforms that will provide information to persons okay. about what the Data Protection Act requires, what you need to do in order to comply. Right. We do provide sensitization sessions, both to groups as well as to organizations. So you'll go in to the organization? Well, we accommodate most virtually, okay. but from time to time we do 
um, visit an organization as well to speak with them on their compliance requirements. Right. In addition to that, and specifically as it relates to registration, yes. what we have done is to incorporate in the registration form instructions which will guide persons as to the information required to be entered. But we have also put together an information note regarding registration, which is published in our resource center on the website where persons can get additional details as to the compliance requirement. And of course, as usual, persons can call in or email the office for guidance and directions regarding registration or compliance generally. Got you, got you. Mr. Fru, we've been talking about the website, but we haven't actually given the URL for the website yet. Would you share that with us? Okay, so the URL for the website is www.oic.gov.jm. All right, and that's accessible on any device. Any device, once have any browser. Once you have uh, any, once you have internet connection, any, and it's adaptable to any mobile app, mobile device, your tablet, cell phone, um, and just any device. <laughs> right, right. All right. So, where can I get more? You mentioned the website. Mm -hmm. Can I go to the website and get like documents about um, the Data Protection Act, mm -hmm. about the act itself? Mm -hmm. Uh, compliance, can I get that sort of resource on the website? Well, we have actually made the act available on the website as well as the regulations passed under the act which support it. Mm -hmm. We have also, as I mentioned, published the information note on our website as well as on our YouTube, Facebook, Instagram accounts. We have posted various videos including um, sessions that we have previously kept that would give people information about our office, about the legislation, about their compliance requirements. And so they can go to any of our online platforms in order to receive information. And I've been to the website, you know, all the icons are there. You have the website itself and yeah. YouTube, Facebook, Instagram. Yes. So that's, that's great. Tell me something. It's crunch time now and I am signing up my account. I am registering. What's the time frame for processing for me to be registered as a data controller? Well, as we mentioned before, the entry of the information into the system, you will have up to 30 days to do that. Once you have done that, then it's a fairly simple process for us to review the information, ensure that the application is complete. If it is that persons have uploaded supporting documents, which they're also able to do through our platform, right. then we may look at those documents to ensure that what they have said is uploaded is what has been provided. And provided everything is together, the validation process should be fairly short. Okay. Um, the issue we may have is because of the volume of persons who are submitting applications, of course, the notification may take over a day to, for us to submit to you via right. email. Okay, so validation uh, is not a lengthy process, but what happens mm -hmm. at the end? Uh, I am now in your database as a... Yes. Do I get anything? Well, once we have completed the application process and you're approved, the first thing that persons will notice is that their registration particulars are immediately entered in the register that is maintained by the OIC uh, and that is publicly accessible as provided by the Act. Right. We are also ultimately going to issue an e-certificate that will confirm to data controllers that they are entered in the register. Um, but you will receive a validation email immediately upon approval. Awesome, awesome. So, and, and sorry, and just yes, to add to that, um, your, my OIC portal for controller is where you see all your information regards to your account. Okay. So that's where we'll update you with information on your my OIC portal. You'll see your submission of your of your registration particular mm -hmm. that you submit through the office and any update you'll get through your my OIC portal platform. Yeah, that's great because you know to give like my clients as a data controller if I were that 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 confidence hey I'm validated. Yes. Mm -hmm. We're in the last last few seconds of this interview uh, our audience is watching there are many of them who are data controllers do you have a final word between you both for them? Well, I'll sit, say to the audience, compliance is a journey and it's something that we should all take together in terms of having Jamaica as somewhere where we can say our data is protected and give stakeholders a confidence to say that we are a society, we're a digital society, but we also care about the protection of data. Right, right. Lady Barclay? 
What I would say to persons is, as we embark on this first phase of registration of controllers, we want persons to know that we have appreciated the challenges that they have in terms of getting ready for registration and also in terms of identifying data protection officers. And at this point, what we're promoting is registration. So even if it is that you do not feel that you have met every requirement for compliance under the Act, or if it is that you have not identified the perfect person for your data processing of your data protection officer, Officer, then you can still come forward and register because you will have time both make yourself compliant as well as to amend the particulars which have been provided because that is also allowed under the legislation. So register, register, register. <laughs> Register, register, register. Thank you so much, both. We've been discussing the Data Protection Act, and with me were uh, the, Ms. Celia Barclay, the Information Commissioner, and Mr. Ronald Fru, Information Systems Manager in the Office of the Information Commissioner. This has been Get the Facts, and I do hope you have a productive week. See you next time.